Okay, uh, Dr. Shu, why don't you first uh, talk about the uh, technology and how it was developed and a little bit about your own background. So, okay, first, first, thank you very much for the invitation and also thank Francis for coming. Also, I know you have a really very busy, yeah. And uh, so talking about SenseTime, SenseTime is actually a uh, computi computer vision service and uh, AI technology provider to our business partners. And uh, basically we focused on our self-developed technologies and try to uh, kind of enable our business partner to success in different areas. And uh, uh, we do some kind of fundamental artificial intelligence infrastructure. So we are trying to be the AI platform company. company. And currently we have several verticals and our technologies has uh, impact in the, those verticals, including kind of uh, public security mm -hmm. and the mobile industry, and also internet finance, and uh, as well as uh, autonomous driving. Yeah, thank you. And uh, how many patents do you have, or have you filed for already? Number of patents is not that uh, mm -hmm. important, but actually we have those kind of so-called fun fundamental patents. You know that uh, recently we maybe have a. Python license agreement with uh, overseas companies, and I think it is really the largest Python license in China. Yeah, and actually we have more than about 500 uh, uh, Python uh, PCT, and uh, so I think uh, it reveals our capability of building some fundamental uh, cap capabilities, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very deep tech, isn't it? <laughs> um, and invented here in Hong Kong as well. Started in Hong Kong, and uh, so currently the Hong, Hong Kong headquarters is the Science Park. So if you're interested, you can definitely pay a visit to us. Yeah. Uh, th th this uh, uh, GoGo van was Cyberport, and this one is Hong Kong Science and Technology Park. So now, how did you connect with Francis Leong? How did you how did you two meet? How did you connect? Um, uh, was it some kind of uh, time? How did how did this happen? In fact, it was I who approached them. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for investment opportunities. In particular, I want to look for uh, a good company and investment in the AI industry. Um, well, the reasons that I want to invest in uh, sense time are basically three, okay? One is a macro issue. The second one is micro, and the third one is sentimental, okay? Micro is, uh, I, I think that you know, AI uh, will, will take off this time, although, I mean, AI is really new, okay? I think you know, people start to talk about artificial intelligence in the mid-50s, okay? And you, you see you know, a few bubbles, but I think this time this is real, okay? And, and I think that just like Oh, about 20 years ago when I first invested in internet. At that time, there was a bubble. And uh, many companies didn't have revenue, but I started to invest because at that time, I believed that you know, internet would change you know, a lot of things. I want to invest in internet okay, companies. Uh, so I make the bet, and the, the bet was very successful. And now I think that AI will change again a lot of things, our life, the business, you know, production, you know, a lot of things, okay? So I want to really invest in a good AI company. So I, I was looking around, and I like sense time because, um, well, one is they have very strong technology. Um, they have their proprietary algorithms, um, a strong team, you know, um, and also that, you know, uh, well, I think they are probably one of the major uh, uh, technology-based AI platform left in the world now. Um, the other ones were all acquired by the big internet companies like Google acquired um, uh, DeepMind, you know, uh, Facebook acquired one, and then Amazon acquired you know, another. And they, uh, they are well, one of the very few left, and they are uh, the, uh, the the best one in China, right? And and uh, well, the the other thing, um, uh, Michael issue is, when when I make an investment, I always uh, place a lot of importance on the team. Okay, as I said before, technically they are very strong, and also I like 
the, the passion, the conviction, the commitment. And I also believe that they have very strong execution capability as well, as you can see. You know, the, the revenue has ramped up very quickly. They have uh, got a lot of clients and developed a few very strong strategic relationships. Okay? Now the third factor is sentimental because, well, I was you know, born and brought up in Hong Kong. I want to help Hong Kong. I want to contribute to Hong Kong. I want to you know, help Hong Kong entrepreneurs. I think that is very important for Hong Kong in this period of time. Okay, and um, actually, I have been looking around to try to help Hong Kong companies, and I'm very proud that you know, I'm associated uh, as an investor as the first, I believe, the first uh, uh, unicorn in Hong Kong. Uh, so, yeah, the reasons. Yeah, that, that's excellent. I, I, I love your reasoning. The three reasons. Um, and um, how did you? You said you actually sought out an AI company here in Hong Kong. So, how did you find him? Uh, actually, I. No, was talking to people and and and, and then a friend of mine he said hey I was looking at an AI company uh, the no, uh, it is doing a, a fundraising so, so I then asked my friend to make introduction that's how I uh, no I I uh, approached them I went to visit their, their lab in Satin and I was very impressed and I found the professor Tong no gave me a 101 lesson in the AI. Oh, I was very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And I see, I see uh, Dr. Xu just uh, nodding along as you're talking about all these big companies that have gotten into AI and how his company is really independent and, and uh, the strongest one in China. So what do you see when he talks about Amazon and Baidu and you know, all these other big tech companies that are in this space? Is, that, is this what your vision is for since time? Uh, yeah, so in case maybe most of people do not know the maybe research background of sense time and actually we are already leading in the AI industry. For example, we have some statistics uh, been for the past uh, several years, two to three years and uh, worldwide speaking. So we ranked the number three in all the published papers in computer vision areas. That means so we second only to Microsoft and CMU and we are in leading positions to Facebook, MIT, Berkeley, Google, and a lot of the universities in the U.S. And uh, you know that this achievement is only done by a single startup. So compared to those kind of tech giants, that means so. Uh, so that's why I think the Asia, especially China and Hong Kong, is already playing a leading role in recent AI revolution. And uh, for first, first of all, we have the top talents that are really interested in the kind of AI engineering things. And second, we have new use cases and new scenarios. And we see uh, we have a lot of customers in Hong Kong and China. So they those kind of companies are really uh, willing to embrace those kind of new technologies. And uh, the third thing is that uh, the government is really play an important role to accelerate all those kind of things. Yeah. So I yeah, think yeah, the Chinese government is behind this in a big way. Yeah. So that's an advantage for you. Now I know that you just signed an agreement with Qualcomm. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a pretty big breakthrough, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's, uh, Qualcomm also also Qualcomm found us because so you know that uh, if you use a mobile phone in China, we are actually the AI technology suppliers to almost all the mobile phone companies in China, including Oppo, Vivo, Huawei, Xiaomi, and the uh, uh, and a lot of mobile phone companies. Yeah, that's quite a list of <laughs> companies. Those are yeah. really like top ten, right? Yeah, and uh, Qualcomm's uh, maybe the biggest market in Qualcomm to Qualcomm is also in the China market because they they have a large volume of chipset to sell into the Chinese mobile phone company. And uh, when we uh, we have deep collaboration with Qualcomm, we can help shorten the R&D circles. That means uh, Qualcomm has a very good computing capabilities on embedded systems. Uh, for example, they have the number one GPUs for embedded chips. And But before that, they do not have too much very good ap AI applications can be run on those kind of chips. And uh, we are the solution providers and we can help them to accelerate the uh, maybe the, the promotion of those kind of computing chips and uh, that's why our the combinations will provide our customers a one-stop turnkey solution. Yeah. So now you're one of these famous unicorn companies. Did you ever imagine this starting out and what was the fundraising exercise like for you? 
Uh, You're an engineering type, a scientist, right? So doing fundraising is a whole different yeah, ball I, game, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> actually, we uh, we came from the academics, so we uh, at the very beginning we uh, we cannot imagine this, but we have a dream that, uh, you know, the science time actually came from the f uh, phonetic translation of Shang Tang, our Chinese version, Chinese name. Shang is the uh, one of the earliest dynasties in China. And at that time, the, so we see a rapid development in the uh, agriculture and uh, kind of handicraft industries. So uh, it, it is really a leading dynasty. And also uh, Tang is its first emperor. So that, that means we... <laughs> so big ambitions from the start. Yeah, so <laughs> we think that we, we now we, we need to use in the AI to uh, using our technologies to uh, make the same thing happen and uh, yeah. Uh, okay, um, but unicorn status. Um, uh, one of the one. Of, I think there's three now in Hong Kong that are unicorn status. So you're one of the three, and I think maybe maybe the first. Um, but so did that ever cross your mind that this could happen when you first started out? And and then and Francis, I mean, how do you think about that from from your side? Uh, actually, uh, my uh, objective. It's not uh, just a unicorn status. I believe that since time will, in the leak of the BAT uh, the league, uh, class, you know, they will be uh, at the top of the AI sector in China and, and, uh, and with a you know, very strong leading position compared to this, you know, the second or the third one. I think that will happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's quite an endorsement. Everybody uh, should have an investor like this who's so gung-ho about what you're doing. <laughs> um, I will c continue to support uh, sense, uh, sense Time in fundraising, in uh, you know, investor relationship, in M&As, introducing strategic uh, uh, relationships or partnership, and in, in the future IPO. Yeah, so I'm a long-term investor. I'm very bullish about Sense Time. That's great. Very much. <laughs> he just thanked him. <laughs> That's great. Um, so um, now uh, you mentioned a couple of avenues here: M and A, IPO. I mean, what what do you think is the most likely, and what what is your dream actually? Uh, so to us, actually, we are not uh, think too much about maybe uh, the IPO or those kind of things. What we think is try to make the. Uh, company influential enough and uh, you know that we are uh, tech guys we think that when we create some new technologies and we are creating new products we try and we are trying to make those kind of products most influential to a lot of people so for example now our now technologies in mobile phone have influenced more than 100 billions 100 millions of users and if you use those kind of apps for example face you may to snow uh, and if you, if you are playing those kind of apps, the, the, the technology behind is provided by Sense Time. And in China, there are some leading AI companies called Jingru uh, Toutiao, if you know that. Uh, and also the Kuaiso, uh, something, some uh, video stream apps, but they are all our customers. That means our technology has already influenced, uh, uh, has impact on hundreds of millions of users. But our ambitious is more. So we just like make everybody know that since time is a high tech and high uh, high tech uh, companies and we, we trust the one to the logo since time inside where uh, each and every smart device is in. So in, in the first tech chat we did, we talked a little a lot about what cyber ports uh, contribution. So in your part, what was the, the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park's contribution to since time's success? Uh, so the one advantage is that the Hong Kong uh, Science Park is actually very close to a very good university, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. So that's why it's a very good way to attract the top talents from the university, and not only uh, as interns, but also as full-time employees, because it is the distance is quite near. And also, uh, more importantly, I think Hong Kong also plays a vital role to attract the top talents worldwide. You know that uh, what our founding teams uh, has graduated students from MIT, from Stanford, and we also have colleagues from uh, Microsoft, Google, 
But and how many PhDs do you have on staff? Okay, so currently we have about more than 140 PhD degree holders. In did, did everybody get that? How many PhDs they have on staff? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So you know that uh, we are doing uh, AI innovation. It really a talent war. That's why at the very beginning we are trying to recruit more and more ta talent. So in that case, we uh, those talents can uh, really make things different. Yeah. And Francis, for your part, you talked about how you're introducing them to partnerships and other investors. Have you brought on some of these other investors who've come on? Because you were one of the, you were one of the early ones. Yes, yeah, uh, yes, I have already introduced some relationships, uh, but you know this is still under discussion, um, so I don't want to you know disclose the names. But uh, but um, um, I have really a very enjoy a very good relationships with Sam Time, and I also. I learn from them and also help them to help me evaluate some of my AI investments. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. That's a good use of uh, the team's talent. Uh, so uh, I can't uh, uh, ignore asking you, uh, what do you think about, okay, time's up. One last question for Francis. Uh, what do you think about the caliber of Hong Kong startups today? Honestly, um, I think um, there has been a lot of improvement in the la uh, last two years. Two years before, I couldn't find a company for, you know, which can you know, satisfy my criteria, criteria. And I, since then, I have invested in actually three uh, Hong Kong-based um, startup. Uh, one is Sense Time, the other one is Clock K, K Lock or what you call sure. K Lock? Yeah. Yep. That is from uh, Cyberport. Right. <laughs> and the w third one is called uh, VS Media, which is a media company. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, we're so happy to have both of you here today. Thank you so much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Let's talk for our oh, okay. 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 Yes. Okay.